Okay, today I'm gonna talk about how, t what conductors are and what insulators are. So first, we're gonna start off with conductors. This is one of the first conductors. As you see. Next, a washer. A shiny nail, a black rock, piece of screen, and a paper fastener right there, close up look. A, and a screw. So these are all the conductors. Conductors are things that have at least iron or metal in it that electricity can pass through. So this is a screen. You can put it through the circuit. So pretend if I build a circuit, I put the wire here right the wire I, I put it like that put it through the magnets must touch and then I get another wire thank you Kiho mm -hmm. and then put it right there it will still work because this has at least iron or metal in it that electricity could pass through and now my partner Kiho is gonna talk about what insulators are hi I'm Kiho Insulators is the opposite word of conductors and does not light up when you make a circuit, like a piece of yarn. The piece of screen does light, bulb, the light up because there's at least metals inside, but this one, there's no metals inside. You're so right, Kiho. Huh? Yeah, Todd. Okay. So, when you make the circuit and trying to do insulators, okay, you will do it like this, same as what we do in conductors, like this. Correct. And you will make a circuit just like what we do always. But the circuit will not work. I know. So, I think you're going to you learn a lot about conductors and insulators today. You're right. But don't forget, there are more insulators. For example, a rubber band, one of them. A cardboard, of course. Some popsicle sticks. Foams, of course. <laughs> There's no metal in foams, do they? And also straws. Well, if we do something like that, well, of course it's gonna work. Yeah. But it's like the joke, huh? Yeah. They're touching together. And these, they won't work for sure. And some dough nails. Even though they're like nails and stuff. But as you see, they don't have magnets in them. So basically, that's what conductors and insulators are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you one example of conductors and insulators. We're gonna use a motor. Or a light bulb. Today, I'm gonna use a light bulb. Okay. We also so, use a switch today. Yeah. Right there, right? We're gonna connect the wires. Right there. Don't forget the battery, right, mm -hmm. Kiho? Yeah, if you forget the battery, you can have nothing. So, let's try conductors first. Yeah, you're right, Kiho. 
Of course, insulators won't work, right? So I guess we don't have to try that one. Yeah. We connect the wires right there. Okay, what's next? Of course, the conductor, the screw. Okay, right there. Oh, actually, oh. we don't need switch. Yeah, I Sorry. Oh, Kiho. And then there you go. And the light bulbs light up. I guess this one will light up, right? Mm -hmm. Never yeah. mind. I think something's wrong. Okay. Maybe we have to improve. But this is just an example of what it would look like when a conductor goes in through a circuit. So, hope you enjoy. Bye. Bye.